In today's video, I want to share with you a quick tip on how to have specific designs on selected pages on your website using the theme builder. Sounds confusing? Let me show you what I mean. So over here, I have this page. We've targeted this page using the theme builder to have this specific background and this styling on the text. I've also targeted page one and this has a dark background, but they're all sitting on the same website. So these two pages are being driven by the theme builder. Now, this page here, this about page is the standard page on our website. So as you can see, this is a really cool way of making sure you target a specific page to have a specific design, which is not affecting any other pages on your website. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, the course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create these pages. And oh, uh, you may be wondering, when do we use this type of scenario? Let's say you have specific landing pages or membership pages. You can have these with specific background colors based on the membership level, for example. But there are so many applications of this technique that I'll be showing you today. Let's get started. All right, so uh, to get started, what we need to do is to uh, use this theme builder. But ahead of time, I've gone ahead and created page one and page two. Now, these are just page titles that I've just created, but you can name this page whatever you want. And I haven't uh, done anything to these pages. These are just default pages. So I'm going to show you how we can use the builder to actually make custom pages on your website. Let's head over here now to the theme builder by coming over here to Divi and clicking theme builder. Now notice it's very important for us to have these uh, pages first because then if you don't do that, the pages won't show in the theme builder. So let's go ahead now and let's start creating our designs. So over here now, if I say add new template, I can now go to specific pages. Now notice that I can target a specific page here, which will then look different to all the other pages that are on my website. So I'm going to come over here to specific pages and then go to, let's say, page one and then create template. So now I'm going to create a template that only applies to page one. All right. So let's go ahead and build this. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to uh, custom body. This is where we're going to be um, designing our layout. So over here, I'm going to say build custom body. So we're going to get the builder as usual. So I can go in now and start playing around with different, different colors. So let's say across the whole website, our website had uh, normal pages. Uh, we can then specify this page to have a totally different design. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on start building because we're going to build this page from scratch. So before I even get started, what I'm going to do here is to go to uh, expand settings and then click on this gear icon. So what I'm going to do here is to apply a background to this page. So I just want this background to be uh, black and then I'm going to save. All right. So now that I've added my background color here for my page, the next step is to add our content. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and add a single column. Now in this column, I'm going to add my post content and I'm just going to select it. So there we go. Now we have our post content. So what I'm going to do here with this post content is just to go in and change the colors. So first of all, I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my settings. I'm just going to snap this over to the left. And now I can go in and start customizing this. So first of all, I'm going to go to my headings and I'm going to uh, change my color here. So you can see here I've chosen white for my heading. And uh, for the font here, I am just going to go and choose, say, Poppins. There we go. And I'm going to make this bold. Okay. And then just increase the size maybe to about 48. All right. So that's my first heading. I am going to go now into my paragraph text. So again, I'm going to choose this, choose my font. And my font here is going to be Poppins. And now I can increase the size by just uh, nudging it up to say about 17. And then I'm going to increase my line height over here. And I'm just going to nudge it up again to say one point. Okay, let's keep going to about say 1.8. And I'm also going to change this color. And this is a bit too much. So I'm going to go in and just make it a you know, slight gray. 
Okay, so there we go. That looks, that's looking better. So now we can go into heading two as well and uh, change our font. Now, by the way, you don't have to go and uh, do this to every single title on your site. You can always just apply them to the first three because in most cases, this is what we're going to be using. All right, so now that I have my uh, heading text, I may even go in. In fact, you know what? I'll just leave this as it is. So now I'm going to save, save one more time. Okay, so this is our template for page one. So I'm going to close this now and I'm going to build another one called page two. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, go to my specific pages and then choose my page. And as you can see here, oh, sorry, I chose page one. I need to go to page two. Okay, so create a new template. So now here on page two, I'm going to click here on add custom body and add our body. I'm going to choose and build this from scratch, add a single column. And like I did before, I would like to go in and add my uh, background color to this particular page. So I'm going to come over here to expand settings, click on this gear icon, and I'm going to choose my background color here. And this time we're going to go with a light gray. So I'm going to come over here choose black, and then I'm just going to play with my slider here until I am happy with my background color. So I'm going to bring it up, and I think this is fine. I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to add my module, and my module here is just, going, is just going to be my post content. Okay, so now that I have my post content for this one, we're not going to waste a lot of time by trying to customize all this. I'm just going to go in and just do a few, uh, because of course now you know how to do it. You can just go in here. And uh, first of all, let's come over here and just change our text here to Poppins. So I'm going to come over here, default font, change this to Poppins. Okay, we're going to increase the size. Uh, let's take it up to about 17, as we did before. Give this some line height, save. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this uh, basic design. The next step now is to go into our pages and add some content and then see what our pages look like. All right, so I'm going to save this one more time. Now, the reason why I do that is because sometimes I forget to save and then I have to go back in and uh, start uh, making my changes. So I just have to double check. All right, so now I have page one and page two. Okay. So now that I have all this work done in the builder, we are now going to add our content onto page one and page two. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here, all pages. So I'm going to come to page one and then I'm going to view this, go to page two and view that. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this is because I just want to make sure I see these pages side by side instead of just uh, having these pages, you know, sitting in there. Okay, so now that I have page one open here, you can see all I have is just this black uh, area here. There's no content in it, and that's because I haven't added any content. So if I come over here now to edit page, I can now go in and uh, add all the content that I need to add. All right, so now I'm here in page one. So I'm going to add my content in here. And notice I'm not using the Divi Builder here because we have our template already created using the Divi Builder. So we don't want to use the Divi Builder at this stage. All right, so moving on, I'm just going to add an image here just to um, make this layout look much better. So to add my image, I'm going to click here on this plus button and choose image and then go to my media library. So I'm just going to add a random image from my media library here. It doesn't have to be a specific image. So I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to select it. There we go. So our image is now in place. And over here, I can also uh, add a title to our page just to make it look much better. Okay, so um, I'm just going to come over here and click on this plus button and choose my heading. And I'm just going to paste my heading in here. So if you want to drag this all the way to the top, all you have to do is to come onto this area here and then we can just drag it all the way to the top like that. And then uh, we want to also continue until we have it where exactly where we want. Okay, so we want this above pretty much everything. And then just bring this down. Okay, so now our heading is right there at the top. We have our description text. And uh, we have an image and also this text here on the bottom. I can also go in and add other items on this page. But you know what? For this example, this is okay. Now I'm going to hit update. So 
Now that I've hit update, this is the moment of truth. We want to see what sort of layout and design we have on this page. I'm going to go now to view page. In fact, let me hit update one more time and then view this page in a new tab, right? So I'm going to come over here to page one and you can see our page one here has a black background and it looks really, really awesome. So now that we have page one designed and it's now following our template and how do we know this? Well, we know this because our font here has changed, our title here has changed, and also our color has changed. This is what we have in the theme builder. Now let's work on uh, page number two. Okay, so we have page number two open here. Now don't forget, you don't, you need to use the Diffy builder here because everything is being controlled by our template. So, okay, so I'm going to go in now and add my text here, and uh, let's add an image as well onto this. Click here on this plus button. And this time I am going to add a totally different image. So I'm gonna to go to my media library just to distinguish the pages. Okay, so here in my library, the page I'm gonna go with is, um, you know what, let's go with this one here. Great, I'm gonna select it. And now we can see our page has been added. Just like before, I'm gonna go in and add my title. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button, choose my heading and paste it in place. And now that is my heading. So I'm not gonna do a lot of work here. All I have to do now is to hit update and do a quick preview of this page. So now I'm gonna click on view page. So now we can see on our page, we have this light gray background and uh, we also have our heading here and our paragraph text is looking good. And pretty much this covers our page on our website. So this is another way that we can work on our pages and make sure that they are different to any other pages on our website. Okay, so over here, this is page one. This is page two. Now, what happens if we go to any other page on our website? So just to show you that these are different, I'm gonna come over here and choose this about us and just click on view. So you can see here on the about page, this is a normal page. It, our paragraph text here is not even stylized. And this is our default text that's, that's on our website. So all the other pages on our site will look like this. But when you go to this specific one, it will have a background color. And this one here will have this light background color. That is because we targeted these pages in the uh, theme builder. So this is how you can target specific pages that have, you know, maybe perhaps different uh, messages on your website using the theme builder. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.